Hello everybody and welcome to the first tutorial on musicbots.net. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your musicbot to your discord server. It's a fairly simple process but it is a little bit more complicated than just connecting to a TeamSpeak 3 server. So I'm going to go in detail and show you how to do that today. And we're going to start off by going to this page right here. And by the way, all the URLs will be down in the description below. So once you're here, we're going to go ahead and create a new app. We're going to name this app whatever you want. I'm just going to be naming it MusicBotsNet. And you can set a description if you like. It is not required. And the app icon will be overwrote with a default music bot icon so that can be skipped it doesn't really matter if you add one or not it's going to be overwrote anyways so next we can go ahead and create the app and you will get a client id here we're going to go ahead and copy that client id into notepad just so you kind of have it there for what we're going to have to do in a few minutes. We're going to have to use that in a URL. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to scroll down a little bit and under this bot section right here, we're going to click create a bot user and go ahead and click yes, do it. And now you have a token. Go ahead and click to reveal that and copy that token. Put it in your notepad. Once again, just so you kind of have it, we're going to be needing it. So now, once you've done that, scroll down and click Save Changes. If something happens where you refresh the page before saving changes, you must make sure that Public Bot is turned off. So make sure it's turned off, Save Changes, and now we can move on to the next step. So in this next step here, we're going to take a URL template, which is down in the description below. And I'm just going to use this little text box right here to show you guys what you need to do. So we're going to take the client ID, which is right here above it. And we're going to paste it in right here where it says your client ID here. So paste that in and we're going to copy that and we're going to put it into a new tab and we're going to enter that URL. So that should bring you up to a window that looks just like this. Go ahead and select the server that you're wanting it connect to connect to and click authorize. Go ahead and fill out the captcha and your bot is now authorized. So if you go to your Discord server, you should see here on the right that the bot is there. This is not your music bot itself. This is kind of a user that your music bot is going to use to stream music on your Discord server. This is not the bot. Your bot is not ready for use. All right. So in the next step, we're going to go to musicbots.net. Go to the client area. You can find that at the top and the navigation bar, go to your services, click on the service you have purchased. This could be different depending on the service that you purchased. And once you are here, you can scroll down a bit and you will see IP and port. Your IP for connecting to a Discord server is going to be the token that you got from this right here. It's going to be this token right here. So once you put that token in the IP field, the port is going to be the client ID. The client ID is right up here. So we're going to take that and we're going to put it in the port field. All right, once you've saved that, your IP and port may not be completely correct in the fields but it did update it's just a little bit buggy so do not be alarmed it is updated to what you actually put in the boxes and not what it shows after you've saved it 
So to make sure that everything worked properly, you can go back to your Discord server and it will say welcome musicbots.net and whatever it says here, hope you brought a pizza. And if you look over here in the users section, um, as long as it has that avatar right there, that means that your bot is using the bot user that you created earlier and your bot is successfully connected to your Discord. Now to test this, we're going to go ahead and go to the actual panel for managing the bot and we're going to play a quick YouTube link just to see if it's working properly. So we're going to click play link, unmute our sound, and there you go. So as you can see, the bot is working. It announced what it is playing and all the other good information about it along with the YouTube video link. All right, guys, that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys got your bot connected to your Discord server successfully after watching this video. If you need any more help, you can contact us via our live chat or you can create a support ticket on our website, musicbots.net. And with that said, hope you guys have a great day and goodbye.